only way I can see that it wouldn't defend the country is the fact that a lot of this information would be accessible on the internet. Nevertheless, I strongly support the law uh, because we see in America and in Western Europe where this sort of thing is much more common, we can see the effect of it. In Britain, for example, over a 10 year period, the number of uh, young people who were referred to clinics for gender dysphoria went up by something like 4,000%. This is about social contagion. This is a, a, a reflection or a, the result of propaganda. I was in Slovenia a couple of weeks ago and spoke to a, a Catholic man. He said that he and his wife are struggling with their 11-year-old daughter. She was online and she got in touch somehow with uh, two Americans on the West Coast who told her, you better hurry up and choose your gender before your body chooses it for you. Hmm. He said that th this insane thought has occupied her mind. She can't eat, she doesn't want to go to school, she's so afraid she's going to choose the wrong gender. I mean, I, I think that that maybe the Hungarian law would not have protected them against something she found online, but it can at least protect Hungarian families and children from having this, this crazy ideology taught to them at school and in the entertainment media. I remember uh, two days before the government announced the, the bill, I was having a meeting with Katlin Novak, uh, just an ordinary meeting like, to mm -hmm. get to know her, and she told me that this bill was coming. And I said, oh, have you seen the Blues, Clues, and You Pride Parade? She said, no, what's that? Have you, you heard about it? Yeah. I, Blues, Clues, and You is a popular show for little children, pre-kindergarten yeah. children. It's very woke. Now, they, my kids watched it in the previous incarnation when it was just a happy TV show. Now it's all about cultural politics. They had this clip um, that had a, an, an, it was all animated, that had a drag queen singing a, uh, Pride Parade song. It was all about the families marching in the Pride Parade. It said, this family has two daddies. Started out there. Mm -hmm. Then it said, this family has trans. And they had a, a, an animated beaver, you know, the little animal mm -hmm. with scars on the breast for where she had her breast cut off. Little children, pre-kindergarten children. Everybody around the table, their faces just fell. And uh, this is how radical it is. And so, I thank God the state is stepping in here, in, in Hungary's case, and trying to help families protect their own children. And it's not just from, uh, from liberals in educational institutions, it's also from woke capitalism. In, uh, in America now, during Pride Month, everything gets queered, as they say. Uh, this past Pride Month, uh, Kellogg's, one of the major cereal sure. companies, made a pride cereal. I mean, think about that. LGBT pride breakfast <laughs> cereal? But uh, it was for kids, right? And on the side of the cereal box, there was um, a, a guide to help children choose their pronouns. You can't even sit down and have breakfast with your children without them being assaulted with this thing. So um, thank God for Hungary. And I, one thing I've tried to, we, we couldn't do this in America because of our First Amendment, but. Mm -hmm. You don't have that here in Hungary, and uh, use the power you have to protect the family, I say.